Hi, Laura Wansick here doing a walkthrough of my December Daily 2015 album. So I got the Ali Edwards. Um, you can't see it very well in this lighting, but it's a kind of metal embossed tag there. And this is definitely a very um, ready to decorate album. I just never got inspired to decorate it in any way, so I didn't, um, which I'm okay with. So it opens with this fun transparency sheet. I actually dropped this album on the floor. We moved. Um, and I think that's when it happened. Or had we moved before that? I don't know. Anyway, this um, right here got all messed up. So if you see that, that's why that happened. Um, so this opens with this fun transparency and this glitter um, chipboard star. And started out with intentions about, um, you know, this album and this month and um, kind of what my intentions for it were. And this is a really fun embossed sheet. And again, just always love these transparencies. And sequins. Um, these were, I had found at a thrift shop years ago and they worked perfectly for it. And then I used the Sing It Loud for All to Hear to stamp a little frame around this. This was uh, my daughter's Christmas concert at school. So I thought that was fitting. And then for this, um, I put this sticker on a plastic sheet of paper and then slipped it in there so it's not stuck on the outside of it. We watched a jingle all the way on the fourth. It's getting our tree. some vellum. I love this picture so much. I love that she's crying because, not because I want her to cry, but just because I think that's kind of like a rite of passage to, you know, see Santa and cry. It's kind of funny. She had, my daughter had accidentally scratched my uh, cornea, so... Um, I used this high-low stamp. I think this was from a story kit of Ali Edwards uh, that month. I'm so used to that. This is the uh, pamphlet from a, this concert that we went to. Me trying to make a gingerbread house. Literally right after I took that picture, that fell. So I thought that was pretty funny. We went to a concert, and I didn't want to take a picture of the concert, so I just found... We went to a concert um, at the local community arts center of kids who did a Charlie Brown Christmas, and um, trying to get a picture was just kind of too much work, so I just went online and found a fun picture of Charlie Brown and Snoopy and just used that instead. Sometimes if I feel like a picture is going to be, take too much work and not add to the experience, then I come up with something, a creative alternative, and in that case, that's what that was. This is a... Peg dolls that I painted for my friend as a gift to her. This was our um, annual get together of me and three of my friends, and that was um, a fun project I was kind of into at that time, so I took a picture of that to add. And this one actually is wrapping paper that a friend of, I think this is the wrapping paper that I got, received a gift in, and I thought it was cute, so I used that um, as a background. This is fun because it's very similar to a picture um, that we had taken the year before. If you watch my other album, you'll see kind of a similar picture where everybody's staring at my daughter. <laughs> so that was really cute. This is a project they did at school. Um, it came on this kind of canvassy board. It came in this bag. This canvassy thing came in this bag. And so I included both of them. Um, they turned out to be perfect size, so I was very pleased about that. And then I put some glitter paper on the other side and these little wood snowflakes and then this fun red thing. It's like a plastic uh, snowflake, and then I layered this rubber thing over it. It was Ugly Sweater Day at my husband's work, so I made that the story for that day because he found this um, just wonderfully hideous sweater with gremlins on it um, that we both thought was really funny. So, and Then again, we watched a, I'm an Art of Jug Band Christmas, and I'm like, well, rather than take a picture of the TV, or I'll just find a picture online.
caroling. These really scary dolls that I thought were hysterical in this um, place we were visiting. These um, wooden stars, I think I just, yeah, I just slipped them in. I um, didn't put them on a plastic sheet or anything. So for this one, I didn't, this is a physical card I got, and then I just um, sized the journaling in Photoshop to be about the size, and then I cut it out and put it on the card. So I didn't print directly on this card. This was a gift from my um, friend and coworker, and this is us spraying them at work with some gloss. She made them for me, and then we gave them an extra coat. Picking up my daughter from um, daycare. This was another project that she did at work. At, at work, well, I suppose play is work for children, <laughs> but um, a project she did at um, school. This, I don't know what made me want to do this, but I, I did. I don't know if the twenty third is fe festivist to some people, but I put the airing of grievances, and I made these little sad. I, I have a little stamp of a sad face, and I put some things I was loathing. I think that's kind of funny. I would love a Festivus stamp set if anybody in the world wants to make that. I will buy it. This is all of our luggage going to my parents' house. Um, I thought it was funny how much stuff, stuff we have. Oh my goodness. This is the Christmas card my mom sent out. So not our Christmas card, but the Christmas card she sent out. And then the cool gold um, envelope that it came in. So I know sometimes people will like punch holes and kind of do that, but I wanted to keep the envelope and make it still kind of interactive. Plus there's something on the back, I think. Yeah, another picture. I guess for me, I think it's easier to pull something out than it is to like turn the book when you're looking at it. But I think both can be fine. For some reason I have two of these because in my 2014 album I had this exact same piece of paper. Um, I'm not sure why I have two. off whenever I go through my albums like something's falling off this is uh, all the gifts that she got from my husband's family and then I think for this year I did another AM PM picture so I did this for my album last year as well um, except both of these are at my parents so this is the tree in the morning and the tree in the evening which I thought was kind of a cool distinction it's kind of a different they're both magical in their own way you know I love taking pictures of people taking pictures it's one of my favorite things so that's my dad taking a picture of my mom and daughter um, that one, my daughter looking at the tree, which I loved. I love this picture, too. Yeah, and then these are all the gifts that she got from um, my family, my parents. Queen Payne's Christmas episode on the TV. Kind of fun. <clears throat> and just some vellum to kind of, I like, I don't know if it's like a subconscious thing I do, but I've noticed as I've gone through these, that I kind of have like an opening to the 25th and an ending to it. So this is like the kind of opening to the day, to the actual Christmas day. Um, and then here I have this kind of ending. Um, this vellum kind of separates it from the 26th. This is my dad playing with a I got him a vintage toy from his childhood, so that's him playing with it with uh, my daughter on his lap. And the 27th, I have no idea why I didn't do the 28th through the 31st, because that's my plan to do for this year. Um, but, you know, for whatever reason, I didn't, so <laughs> it is what it is. It's fine. All right, thanks for watching.